Thousands and thousands of yellow jackets invade a Tampa Bay home. News Channel H.F. Patterson suited up today to go in for the removal of a giant nest of yellow jackets at a Hillsborough County home. And Jeff is back at that home now, and he joins us now live. You are still suited up, and I'm hoping you haven't been stung yet. Good evening, Keith and Jen. There are still a lot of yellow jackets flying around here, and I have put back on this protective suit because of these stragglers, but the danger is still here. This nest has been growing outside of a family home in eastern Hillsborough County for more than two years. What we have here is a southern yellow jacket. Jonathan Simpkins is an entomologist and the owner of Insect IQ. He has years of experience removing nests like this. Hopefully we're not going to get stung too many times a day. <laughs> but we will. Yes, we we're going to get stung several times today. That's exciting. Simpkins allowed me, along with photographer Paul Amison, to suit up. So we're going to get your veil on. Yes. Take the tape to the boot. Putting on layers of protective clothing. You ready for the dancing, brother? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. So we could go in alongside the professionals of Insect IQ as they take out the nest. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Immediately, as they start to spray foam on the nest, we come under attack. Ow, that's got nail. You look at your, your veil. Each one of these little ladies are trying to sting you as we go. Getting stung several times in the process. They swarm out of the nest. It's on steroids. You have stacks and stacks and stacks of nesting material. This is not a job for a do-it-yourself situation. In fact, it's quite dangerous. If you got into this without the knowledge and equipment, uh, they say 500 stings from yellow jackets is equal to a rattlesnake bite. Yeah, somehow, miraculously, I did not get stung today. Paul, the photographer, brave enough to do the story with me, did get stung. The professionals, they got stung a number of times, but they were actually down in there digging up the nest. Jonathan Simpkins tells me they have a residual pesticide here. By tomorrow, these yellow jackets should all be dead. I have to say, in all of the years, guys, that I have been working at News Channel 8, this assignment was unique. 